Has your sexual trauma ruined your sex life? I'm Jiminika Eborn with SoGem.com. That's S E W J I N.com. And I'm with Kathy Vartuli from the oh Intimacy God, Dojo. I... No, it's okay. Oh, the <laughs> Intimacy Dojo. Yeah, no, we forget sometimes that we've done like 500 videos. I was like, videos. I know this. <laughs> yeah. IntimacyDojo.com. And so, Kathy, what do you think? Um, I think that it can absolutely ruin your life, your sex life. Uh, if you don't get help or if you know you don't get help that really helps you work through things i avoided sex for years i was abused as a child and sex was painful for me like i i have had vaginismus where the muscles in the vagina were basically in charlie horse all the time and even going to the gyn hurt so after a while like i i did have a lot of sex but as i started doing working on stuff and started being more aware of my body it hurt. It just hurt so much. I didn't want to have sex, and I was really blessed and really lucky to find people that could help me through it um, and guide me to reclaiming my body. And I do absolutely believe that we can reclaim our bodies and have amazing sex lives after. But I also think that the a, a severe enough trauma or a trauma at any you know at the right time when we might have lower resources, it can get integrated into, into our system in a way that makes us never want to have sex or never enjoy sex unless we release it. Yeah, I, I definitely agree. I, I have had, you know, my, my boundaries crossed mm -hmm. many of times uh, being in college and yeah. never really addressing them. Yeah. Um, you're kind of taught, you know, to kind of just move through things. And I think even with having that, you question yourself mm -hmm. forward moving sexually. You question people's intentions. Mm -hmm. Um, a lot more so I, I can definitely understand what you're saying about you know having it affect the overall of everything yeah yeah do you do you think with moving forward was it the actual touch or was it the intimacy was it people men it, I think it was a combination of things because I was abused by someone who was close to me there was the oh it's not safe to let people close to you they'll hurt you there so was that fear um, but there was also the physical part of it, and I had to work through all of it. You know, there was a process, like you said, and you know, I'm so sorry that happened to you in college. We're just not shown as a, our society how to work through things. We're, like you said, we're supposed to shove it off. It's like, um, on, I work, I have a, a website called thrivingnow.com too, where I do emotional freedom techniques, how people work through traumas. The, the survival part of our brain can block off things. If we're running from a bear and we yes. smack our hand against the, a wall and we're, we could have broken our heart, entire hand, we can still run. We can block that part of us off and run for survival. We're designed to take care of it afterwards and release the pain and the trauma. In our society, we treat emotions like we're just going to block that off forever. We're going to leave that in the closet yeah. because I think a lot of people don't know how to clear things like that. And I'm a big fan of somatic and emotional uh, releases because I did so much cognitive therapy, which really helped me in a lot of ways. It helped me understand what was going on, but I still had this visceral response when things happened. And doing some emotional work and some somatic body work that really helped me release the trauma in a, in a, a really deeper level for me. So I know you work yeah. with a lot of people. I, I'm, I'm really glad about that. Yeah. I feel very blessed. You work with, I know you work with a lot of people too that have been through things like this. What do you recommend for like, if someone's been traumatized, how do you in, invite them forward? I invite them at their own speed. That's the first thing I always tell people. Um, don't try to push anyone because you never know, you pushing them, you think you're helping them to really like stunting them. You can Allow be traumatized. Them that space to, yeah allow them the space to figure some parts out, but allow them to know that you're still there. Um, provide resources if you can find them. Yeah. Um, but don't push them because it's, it's not helpful. Yeah. I think that's the, the biggest thing. Like, let them know you're there, but don't push them because you're, you can stunt them and re-traumatize them and make it worse. Yeah. And it, moving forward, like, I'm really glad that you mentioned like, using other things such as therapy because I feel like people don't, think about that and they're just like well there's therapy but there's so many other things like body work I think is really important yeah. and reconnecting and refining your not only your sexuality with, but your own some form of spirituality within yourself yeah no I 
I because I used all of them, I feel like I'm a, a much whole, more holistic healing place than I was and I, for a long time. Just doing cognitive therapy or just doing you know body therapies, I think combining them is really powerful. Um, and I think also talking to people about like if your partner, helping your partner understand, for instance, if you've had a trauma, your partner may not know how to help. And like you said, it's important not to push. If you can, share specifically what will have help. I was really lucky I had some roommates that were great and I was when I was dealing with the worst of it. And they, you know, I was like, I just need a cup of tea when I'm really upset, like in a blanket. And they would just do that yeah. for me a lot of times. And just having that little bit of caring and not, you know, like when I was really triggered, I didn't need to be pushed to talk about it. That was just going to make it worse. I needed to be able to let it soothe out, not bring it up. So just be, if yeah. you can figure out what works for you specifically and at least let the people around you know so they can be there for you if they want, if they're able to. Yeah, I, I definitely agree with that. I thank you for having that conversation with me. I know those conversations are not always easy, but thank you for sharing that with us today. Yeah. I think um, if you guys have any other questions, like please, yeah. please follow up with either one of us. Yeah, leave comments below. We'd love to know what you think. It's really important to talk about these things and make them not so shameful and scary. Definitely. Congratulations on taking this time for yourself and learning these things. If you'd like to follow more of this, you can subscribe to my channel here. Social media is up here. And there's more videos of this type here. See you soon.